hello guys welcome to this video in this video we, our question is use a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square to evaluate the following number one question is 99 whole square number two 997 square and number three 9.8 square so these are questions are solved this so first we have to arrange these three numbers in terms of this a minus b whole square so first number one question we take it is 99 whole square so that means 99 whole square means you have to think of two numbers whose difference will be is equal to 99. So the first thing that comes in our mind is 100 minus 1 whole square. So 100 minus 1 99 that whole square. Now easily you can apply it as a minus b whole square formula. So put down the formula. So first 100 square as a square minus 2ab that means minus 2 into 100 into 1. Then plus b square that means plus 1 square bracket close so 100 square that means the number of square zeros will be doubled so 1 0 0 0 0 so minus sign and give so 2 into 100 that is equal to 200 multiplied by 1 so 200 multiplied by 1 is equal to 200 only so 10,000 minus 200 plus 1 square that is 1 only so 10,000 minus 200 Say so 10,000 minus 200. So that will be is equal to 800. Zero zero. So 9800 plus 1. So it will be is equal to 9801. So this is our final answer for this question. So now let's move on to our next question. So number 2 question says that 997 whole square. So for this question, we do the similar method. So 99 whole, 99, sorry, 997 whole square we can write as 1000 minus 3. So that will be equal to 99, 997 only. So now we arrange this number according to this formula only. So first 100, 1000 square. Then minus 2ab, that means minus 2 into 1000 into 3. Then plus b square, that means plus 3 square. Close the bracket. So here, here also the number of zeros will be doubled. So of 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 minus 2 into 1000 is equal to 2000 multiplied by 3 that means 2 into 3 6 so minus 6000 plus 3 to the power 2 is equal to 9. So now from this number 6000 will be minus and 9 will be added. So do it here 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 minus 6000 so it comes 0 0 0 4 9 9 so with this number we have to add plus i'm uh, sorry 9 so 9 9 4 0 0 9 so this will be the final answer for this question so now our last question that is in decimal so it is given 9.8 whole square so 9.8 whole square so that means we can write it like this at 10 minus 0 0.2 can you write it that 10 minus 0 0.2 so that will be equal to 9.8 only so now full this whole square now the formula you apply here so 10 square minus 2 into 10 into 0 0.2 plus b square that means 0 0.2 whole square close the bracket so here number of zeros get doubled so 100 minus 2 into 10 that is always 20 only so now 20 multiplied by 0 0.2 into the of so 2 multiplied by 0 0 2 multiplied by 2 4 now 0 0 0 so 0 0 is right here so now the answer is 40 so now one decimal point is here so one decimal place to here so that means only 4 that means minus 4 plus 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 you do here here 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 2 2s are 4 2 zeros are 0 0 0 so 0 0 is right here so 0 0 4 remains and there are two decimal places one here and one here so up to two decimal places the point will move one place two place so 0 0.04 so, so that means we can write here 100 minus 4 that will be equal to 96 only so 96 plus 0 0.04 that is equal to 96.04 so this is the final answer for this question.
So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions like this.